I'm gonna be trading one Pokemon and we're gonna try to get a yacht out of it. So let's see how far we can go. I'm just kidding. I'm not built like that. Um, we are gonna go to uh, my local car shop, my favorite shop, just up the street in Chinatown. Let's get some product. Is this copyright? I, I don't know. I think it's picking it up. So, uh, I was at the Seattle Boat Show, decided to check it out. Cause you know, why not kill some time and then um, go ahead and head to Tabletop Village get some new product because uh, Caldea Fates came out with these. We got some tins and some boxes. I actually went to GameStop earlier to buy those, uh, both the Skeledurge and a Charizard tin, mainly because of FOMO of missing it out if Tabletop didn't have it. And also I had $20 in GameStop credit to redeem and use. So I said, you know what, why not? And I paid like 60 bucks for two of those. And uh, it's sitting at home. So I'm very excited. There's a tournament going on tonight too, and I thought about playing in that, but uh, keeping it safe for now. We had a little uh, sickness scare. So uh, I've just been kind of distancing myself and not going out. And uh, maybe next week, participating in the tournament. I do have a really cool tournament video planned. I can't wait to show you guys. Also, this is a uh, downtown Seattle, Lumen Field or Lumen Stadium, whatever it's called, in T-Mobile Park. Uh, big Seahawks fan, big Mariners fan. Etro is my idol growing up. Geno Smith, let's see if he's gonna be on the Seahawks. Any of you guys sports fans out there? There's a couple people inside the building watching me vlog. It's kind of fun. Okay, picked up some product for Coral. Uh, I already got mine, so I'm gonna open up that later. And it's a Lunar New Year. Going on, and they have a promotion where if you spend $50 or more, you get a little card, a mystery pack, mystery item in there. So we're gonna check that out. Uh, I'm back home with Coral. Uh, so I'm gonna go look at their singles. I really want to crack stuff open and uh, hang out here, but I got errands to run after this. So. Being an adult, right? Okay, so I'm back home. Tabletop villages. Little happy Lunar New Year mystery gift card. Let's get cracking. What are we gonna get? Mouse hold. Hello? I don't know if I have this card. Probably not. I don't think I do, which is great. More for me. A shout out to Tabletop Village for doing this. Super cool incentive. Uh, I'll happily spend more money at the shop. I mean, ooh, I forgot to mention, bought myself an Espathra for a little deck building and deck testing. I got myself Nimona and Nimona. I I only wanted this Nimona, and apparently there's a Nimona like above on the different shelf above it, and he pulled this one out. I was like, oh, you know what? Since it's already here, I'll take it. And if I pull it. Well, I guess it, these are going to the trade binder if I pull them. Boom. Boom. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier in the video, we're going to be opening only this Charizard tin and my Skeledurge premium collection box. Why? Because the other packs or boxes, tins or whatever, I bought for Coral and our dear friend Austin. As a thank you for watching Sophie because tomorrow we're going mattress shopping. Let's, uh, let's open this. While I'm uh, doing this opening, uh, I'd like to shout out Tabletop Village. Uh, they've been in my videos a couple of times before. Uh, one of my favorite trading card shops ever, and the premier spot. So, oh, goodness. So if you guys ever have a chance to go, I highly recommend it. And okay. Here's the promo card. Charizard EX. This is my second Charizard EX, and super stoked to get this promo because I don't have to pull it. I don't have to pull a Charizard. And how many packs are in here? One, two, three, four, five. Five packs. Pretty standard for these tins. They did go up in price, however, because of Scarlet and Violet uh, going up in price. 
and it was about $27. Now, at GameStop, I had $20 in credit because I had $15 in just rewards. So I redeemed that, and then I had my $5 monthly reward. Uh, kind of funny, I talk about how much I love Tabletop Village, and then here I am talking about how I got these at GameStop. Anyways, it was a good deal. I couldn't pass it up. So here we are. Let's go. Let's see what we get from Paldean Fates. Now, I this is my first time opening these packs on the channel. I haven't opened them up on the channel before. Uh, I When Paldean Fates did come out, I opened it up with Coral, my friend Austin, and my friend Diego. And we just had a blast opening it all up together because we bought... The three, I we bought a couple of the three packs, the tech stickers. I got all three of the tech sticker packs. Um, I also got uh, two ETBs, one Pokemon Center ETB, and one regular ETB, which was awesome. And then Coral got the same amount as I did. Uh, I think she got less tech sticker packs. And man, let me tell you, that tech sticker pack is goaded. That, I don't know why I did that. This is the rare. I pulled out the energy. I normally pull out the energies and I pulled out the rare by accident. Well, now we know, I guess. And we'll go through the rest. And, uh, because with that tech sticker pack, I didn't record that opening. And, ooh, baby shiny. We got Toxel. And, uh, with that tech sticker pack, I pulled Iono. And I've left some comments in a couple of my uh, YouTuber buddies and, and like other YouTuber channels around, YouTuber channels, PokeTuber channels, uh, that I pulled Iono. That sweet, sweet Iono. And man, the magic's gone. I just, yeah, I, I'm done with Paldean Fates, or at least I should be. Would be nice. Would be nice if I could get that Charizard. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Ooh, Paldean Student, the Blueberry Academy one. It's not Blueberry Academy. It's the Violet. Play the DLC. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm a little confused on schools now. Blueberry Academy students, and their uniforms are so much cooler than uh, whatever the Skyline Violet <laughs> school is. Paldean school is. Okay, this is the fourth pack. And so far we got two hits. I count the baby shinies as hits, cause I, man, I love those cards. They're so cool. Okay, got rare candy in the front, strange. I don't think I've ever seen an item card up in the front. Crap locked, Iono, Gengar, Chimeco, and Great Tusk EX. Now this card's pretty crazy. Uh, the ability is once at the end of your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you must discard the top five cards of your deck. So this is like mill your own deck. And I don't really know like the use case for that, uh, at least for fighting type Pokemon, because it's a fighting energy. But you know, yeah, that's that could be pretty powerful. And the attack Great Bash does 260 damage <laughs> to your opponent. And that's, that's a heavy hitter. That is a heavy hitter. Okay, last pack magic. Let's see what we get. Psychic energy. Maractus. Paldean student, Chinchow, Pineco, Graplocked, Iono, Kilowattrol, Shiny Paldean, Clodsour, EX, Fido, and Revavroom. I will take that. Okay, so out of that 10, five packs, I got one, two, three, four hits. Four for five. Wendy's four for five. Is it four for four or is it five for five now? I don't, I can't keep up with inflation. That's pretty good. Plus the promo. Ooh, okay, I'm liking this. Now, let's move on to my sweet boy, my sweet summer child. Fua Coco, Skeletor, Crocolar. Now, I, I don't really know what comes in here aside from the promo cards and the jumbo. Uh, free plastic. I do know there comes a, like a stand comes with it. And I was at the car shop and I saw the stand. I'm like, wait, it comes with that type of stand? The stand I'm used to is this type of stand here where it's just a single card. However, my gosh, this is such a heavy box. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, remove these. Remove these as Apex. 
And the stand it comes with is pretty wild. Um, I was gonna totally put these cards in my binder, but nope, these are going straight into a three-piece stand. That's so cool. It's all interconnected. I love that. Ah! Okay, here's the promos and their glory. Uh, I'll put them out, I'll take them out later. I'll take out that stand later. I'll do a nice little B-roll shot for you guys. I'll insert it while I'm talking. Nice jumbo card. This goes in my jumbo card binder. Eight packs. This was like $50. And so both for both the 10 and this premium collection box, I paid about $60 with my discounts. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's shuffle them up. Out of these eight packs, how many hits can we get? Let's see what we get. All right, start off with Shiny Don Dozo. So what are your guys' thoughts on Haldane Fate so far? I, Man, this set I think is so much better than Shining Fates. And if you were in there in the Sword and Shield era, Shining Fates was nice and it was fun when it came out. I won't lie. But I pulled out Kremi VMAX five times, and I'm, ooh, Relor. And I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty exhausted of that El Kremi. And after that, it, I, kept, I kept getting the same shinies, or I barely got any shinies, I barely got any cool pulls, and it, it just got repetitive, and I couldn't really fill out a binder if I wanted to. And the set wasn't that big. The set really wasn't that big. And it, it kind of just defeated me. It was. I'd say Shining Fates through Fusion Strike is kind of what doled out Pokemon for me at the time. And that's when I took a little hiatus. And then I'm back here, starting strong and fresh again. So we got Lapras, Mime Jr. Excellent card, by the way. This is some crazy stuff. So Mimed Games. So let's say my opponent has Great Tusk EX on his active and a Cottony on his bench. And I use Mimed Games. My opponent has to choose whether he wants me to use either Great Bash for 260 or Fickle Attack for 30. So yeah, it could be, depending how their bench is laid out, like Maridon, uh, me, I'm a Maridon player, it could be like very game over. It could be very dangerous. Uh, okay, uh, where, where was I, what was I doing? Mastiff, Mousehold, Ultra Ball, Oinkalone, Halucha, Chimeco, and Zatsu. The edges are a little scuffed at the top. Unfortunate. Okay, we got Halucha. We got two shinies so far. Loving that. Okay, Pikachu pack art. So, uh, it's probably not going to be for next week's video. However, I do have a really fun uh, tournament video coming up. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So, uh, if you guys have liked my tournament style videos and vlogs, Get ready for more. Ooh, Fortress EX, awesome. Uh, there's gonna be so much more coming and the next one I'm really excited to produce. Uh, I've been sitting on this idea for a while, mainly because A, uh, it's a matter of free time and B, yeah, commitment. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited to get back into the competitive scene get back into i just started a couple months ago but like getting back into playing i've been really busy with like home and work life stuff so being uh getting the chance to go back into competitive playing like competitive casually very excited for that barboach palmy illustration rare and mag mortar so this is my second palmy i don't know if coral has this but if she doesn't have it this goes into the trade binder yeah so speaking of competitive scene I mentioned back in this video right here where I skipped, uh, where I skipped, where I, I missed um, Portland Regionals. I announced that I was planning on going to LA Regionals. And now I'm confirmed to go to LA Regionals pending registration. Uh, I'm ready to register. Registrations hasn't opened. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine, but uh, it's not always 100% guaranteed to get through registration because <clears throat> I know they fill it pretty fast and it's like one of the last ones, uh, last tournaments before Worlds. But uh, yeah, I'm not worried. I'm not too worried about that, but I have my plane tickets all booked and if I'm not able to go to LA Regionals, uh, I'll just hang out in California, make a couple vlogs. If you guys are from there, 
you might know Frankensons. I've been there before. I love that place. It's a basically like card shop area. A bunch of vendors like show up and you know sell a bunch of pop culture stuff. And super excited to make a video about that. So whether I'm going to LA regionals or not, I'll be making a video at Frankenstein's. Neuburn EX, awesome. I do have this one. So trade binder potential. All right, we have two packs left. Armor Rouge, or no, Cellureg and Pikachu. And we've had out of the eight packs, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five pulls. So five out of eight, it's pretty good batting out. All right, let's get this going. Let's get this Charizard. You know, uh, looking at Coral's cards, I hope she pulls something awesome. I also pulled, because um, she was very bummed to learn that I pulled Iono, and then right after I pulled the uh, this Clive card here, she was very butthurt about that. But I'm like, eh, sucks to suck. Ooh, shiny Kadabra and Wug Trio and Heat Rotom. Okay, okay, we got two for one, or we got two, two and one. Yeah, two for one. I like that. Run out of space here. Love Wug Trio. Okay, last pack magic. I've also had um. And if you've noticed, I've also been experimenting with TCG live videos. I've had a lot of fun doing those. Uh, kind of just testing out like my in-person deck virtually. If you haven't see it, seen those before, if you haven't seen that video, I recommend checking it out. It's just nice chill time. And you can see how my weird right on deck works. All right, Clavopus, Electric Generator, Charmeleon, Crisis Punch, Mass Chiff, Mime Jr and Annihilate for the last card. So, out of that premium collection box, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pulls out of eight packs of cards, and one of them was a two for one. That's pretty good, so we got seven here, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 pulls in total for, was it eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 11 for 13, 11 pulls, out of 13 packs, plus four promos. Man, I love this. I love this set. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. It means a lot. If you've enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more in the future. My name is Kevin TCG, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.